Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Diablo 2 in Hell Mode. Um, this is actually take two, <laughs> to be honest, because the monsters were too strong. And um, yeah, we have to make our way to the Claw Viper Temple. Maybe we'll make it this time, right? And this time we have to remember that there is a freaking exit. We're just trying to find a freaking... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good start, isn't it? It starts with... Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. But we have to get through them somehow. You know. Yeah, to, fi to find something. Oh, that is a poison anyway. Not really, because I was just poisoned then. Yeah. Barely noticed it. Why? And people seem to be dying. What does Sinkula do? Not much. Well, <laughs> kind of seems easier now, right? For now. The game knows that. What's Kassim doing? Dying by the looks of it. Oh, leave me alone. Hmm. We kind of spread apart. Yeah, don't know how that happened. Could we, like, you know, could back shortly so they, you know, kind of bunch together, maybe? Yeah. I hate it when they <sighs> separate so much. I know. I'm getting there. I'm getting a uh, weird echo of, of uh, your yeah. two assassins moaning about the pain. Oh yeah, I hear it too. <laughs> so... I think it's getting better now, right? Seems so. So, what are you fighting right? Ah, uh, the Blight Puss. Are you dead right now? Thank you. Healing, 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 healing. Aww. Night Slingers! Yeah, that's where you are. Because still we can't see anything. No. Under, under all the effects, bam. See, this part of the desert is now clear. And. We can dead. move along five meters. <coughs> oh, yeah, if, if you guys are worrying about why it's dark and it wasn't before in the last video. Um, because I have to repeat what what I actually what I actually said. Um, yeah, there was a there was half a year between the recording from I don't know, it's tw part twenty seven and this part, which would be twenty eight. So um, you might see the difference also in um, yeah the fact that we have now fifteen minutes videos and not ten minute videos. Um, oh, I thought you were gonna say uh, you may also see it in the difference between our play styles, which now suck because we have no idea how to play this game anymore. No, that's what they should figure out in writing angry commentary uh, below it. Yeah, but we, if we point it out, they have like, not less fuel. Or do we like fuel? I forgot. Yeah, sometimes I get these weird comments on like, you suck or you're terrible. I can't even understand people who write such comments, it's just random shit. A Diablo? You suck at Diablo? No. You suck at Diablo? Well, if you suck at... I don't know. You can't suck at Half-Life either. So where were you sucking? Dead Space. You were definitely sucking in Dead Space. Oh, so much were you sucking in Dead Space. Did <laughs> I? Yeah. <laughs> it was painful to watch. But I watched... Wait, I think I didn't finish <laughs> uh, But, you know, most of it. <laughs> and, yeah, you sucked. <laughs> it was a blind freaking run. You kept so. blaming the gravity, which was hilarious for a physicist, especially. Yes. Because you know, <laughs> it's one of the awesomest mechanics in uh, Dead Space, and uh, aren't they expanding it for Dead Space too? And uh, you were whining about it all the time. It was yes. hilarious. See, at least my LPs have an entertaining effect. Or you also suck. Well, I should probably not list every every time you suck. <laughs> Or we'll be here all night. Hey, yo. Yes, I sucked at. I'm listening. The laser pointed uh, rocket launcher in Half-Life 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I got a hang of that one. Yeah. 
Are by episode two. Yes, in episode two. And in episode one, I think. Although I'm not sure about that. Uh. No, no, I, I think someone told me in the comments of. Uh, where are you spamming your out there? Uh, someone told me in Half-Life 2 when I uploaded the videos, and after that I played Half-Life uh, Lost Coast, I think? Or no, first I played episode... No, I was... Let me think about it. Lost Coast is between episode 1 and the real game, so... I already... Lost Coast is in between the original Half-Life 2. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Um, Just came out after... Yeah, it was kind of a graphics demo, I think. Yeah, to just show a pick demo for HRD, HD, high HD dynamic range, HDR. HDR. Yeah, HDR. I'm mixing that acronym up. Where are we going? Down there. Um, so yeah, but after that I knew how to how to handle that gun. <coughs> and it was only because I wasn't actually listening to the guy who just introduces the, the weapon. The mechanic was in Half-Life 1. But I have to admit, I've never finished Half-Life 1, really, because uh, when I was playing Half-Life 1, I saw the speedrun by... Uh, what, what, what was his name? Um, Dan... Oh, who cares about his name? Dan Marshall Gibbons. That's what his name was. And, um, yeah, let's get in. Uh, exploding Shrine. Wait a second, and... BAM! Well... So, uh, yeah, about about the uh, rocket launcher and Half-Life 1. I saw the speedrun and I actually was, got really demotivated because he was so fast and I, s uh, I basically sucked like everyone would suck in comparison, you know? I never saw one on Half-Life 1, just of uh, opposing force. Because I only played it once and wanted to see the game again. And instead of, you know, watching an LP, the whole full game played properly, I just went with a speedrun. It took like 15 minutes, or I don't know, 20, 30, 15, possibly. Yeah, opposing force is very, very, uh, very short. The um, shift is extremely short. It's like, I don't know, 10 minutes. <laughs> no, but I mean, even if you play it properly. It's, it's yeah, I know. It's just like, um, well, for example, Crisis Warhead. <laughs> oh, maybe we should. I should get to. Uh, you know, he's kind of like the monster. Well, finally! Finally! Thank you. So, there's only one guardian left. And it's a regular one, right? Yes. Then but no don't worry, the next boss monster is just right around the corner, probably. What the hell? You can't go two meters without bumping into a boss monster. Oh, hi there. I was just getting coffee and... Oh. Boss monster! Ah, uh, no. Oh, wait, is that the other regular guardian? Or is it a completely yes. different regular guardian? No, I think it's the one. I hope nothing comes around the corner. Or through the doorway, but it's good. Walking. Ah. Hey, Kasim is still alive. Oh, that's some news. He chills the dude still, so I'm guessing it doesn't chill him that much because he doesn't really seem slowed down at all. Uh, I hear a lot of snakes. But no minions, so ordinary room. Oh, they're immune to cold, which is like the only one we don't really use. You can use it, but you rarely do. Yeah. And I don't. And I'm sure tons of people, when they first heard my skill um, setup, yelled at the screen, oh, why didn't you go tornado? Whatever the one. Twister? No. Tornado, is it? Uh, um, right. Because it requires the whole freaking skill tree. I'm sorry, oh, okay. come again? 
Say that again, please. Hurricane requires the whole freaking skill tree. Or I'm again. Oh, yeah? Hurricane is one before that. So yeah, but it's not worth it, right? I think Armageddon just rips off the uh, the floor and right. I think Armageddon is uh, tons of not meteors but similar. Okay. Very similar to a um, um, sock spell, I think. That's how often I use it. I don't even know what it does. Uh. Well, I'm, I like playing weird builds. There's nothing in there, but something behind us. Yeah, well. Yeah. Okay. Someone All the attracted. ones that run away when you hit them. Now they're yeah. back for the vengeance. With a pitiful, pitiful vengeance of Ooh, but I'm kind of sort of retreating. Are you? So, okay. We're getting back a little, and then we try again. There's no better position than nothing behind us. Yep. I and look that. how much you kited again. I'm sorry. I thought there was no one coming from behind, so can't blame me for that. For a second, it's true. And then they screwed me your plan. So maybe it's not entirely your plan for a change. I'm being careful. I hope you can hear me grinning through the mic. Yes, I can hear you. Grinny grin. You sound so resigned, yes. Monsters, slaying, boring, uh. I don't want to slay monsters, I want to play Diablo. <laughs> but you know, uh, playing Diablo and slaying monsters is kind of sub still something different, I don't know. To pick up items and do quests and... Yes, something adventurous. Diablo without the monsters would be awesome. That's just like a real driving simulation without the fact having to deal with... Um, Police! Uh, Diablo uh, without the monsters is uh, the uh, inventory editor. Or hero <laughs> editor, it's called. Right. Uh. Did I? No. I don't know what she did. Yeah, that's the bad thing about, you know. You hear me constantly, and, you know, uh, that I don't have to push a key to talk or something. You hear me talk to myself when I wonder about a mana potion. Because that's what I just did. Did I use a mana potion? Because there was a mana yes. potion on the floor. Very good. And it's worse that I have to explain all that, because, you know. You're in an LP. Right? Yeah. If it's just you, then say, screw you. Die stupid. But, you know, you can't do that to everyone else who, who's going, what did, why did you just say something randomly? <sighs> so we do try to make sense occasionally, don't we? Yeah, we sometimes do, we sometimes don't. As much as Germans are capable of that. <laughs> well, everything the Germans do makes sense. Because we're very anxious player, anxious player. Building an empire. Well, not anymore, but <laughs> that was from Eddie Izzard. <laughs> that was good. That made me laugh. That's how Eddie Izzard destroyed the Germans. When they were building their empire, that's why I'm very organized. I lately, uh, do you know? Um, no, I forgot the freaking name. Um, the funniest joke ever from um, who made the life of Brian and um, Monty Python. Yeah, jo Monty Python. 